Samantha Markle reacts to Megan's letter, brands her a narcissist. It appears the Markle debacle has well and truly kicked off for round two. It all started when five of Meghan Markle's friends sat down for a series of anonymous interviews where they mentioned a five-page letter she wrote to her father, Thomas Markle, S.R. The man himself then handed said letter to the Mail on Sunday to publish, revealing that the Duchess of Sussex had begged him to stop exploiting their relationship in the press, a plea he has obviously ignored. In a letter, Meghan also labeled her half-sister Samantha Markle as Thomas' other daughter and someone who she barely knows, which has now prompted Samantha to retaliate. Samantha Markle responds to Meghan's letter Some narcissists were only children, others. Wish they were, she said on Twitter, replying to a post about Meghan. Her response also came with a plug for her upcoming book, in the Shadows of the Duchess, which is reportedly set to be released around the same time as the due date of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's baby How Convenient. However, Samantha's attack on her half-sister didn't end there, as she labeled Meghan's letter totally fake. She can write all the fake, contrived letters she wants to show off her penmanship but that's all it is, the 54-year-old posted. Nobody lied about her, she lied about everyone and there's plenty of proof out there and the world has seen her ghost everyone, this little letter does not fix what the world witnessed. Friends worried about Meghan and her baby last week, five unnamed people from Meghan's inner circle opened up, wanting to speak the truth about the 37-year-old, after months of negative press and attacks on social media. In a series of interviews with People magazine, they revealed their concern for the Duchess of Sussex and want to stand up against the global bullying we are seeing. Meg has silently sat back and endured the lies and untruths, one former co-star said. They also expressed their concerns for Meghan and her unborn baby. We worry about what this is doing to her and the baby, the source continued. It's wrong to put anyone under this level of emotional trauma let alone when they're pregnant. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.